So today we're going to show you how to change out your factory stock stereo system CD player on a 2011 Honda Civic. Now this will work on the 2006 through 2011. Now we're going to upgrade to a 10.1 inch uh, touchscreen. Now this is an Apple CarPlay. It comes with the bezel and we're going to show you how to remove the whole upper console to get to this and how to install it. It's not a difficult thing. You can do it. Uh, the cost of this, you can get these off of Amazon, eBay. Uh, we paid about $150. All right, we're going to go ahead and remove this lower knee bolster right here. So what we're going to do is just go ahead and grab a hold here, pull back, pull back on it and it does pop right out and then you'll do the same all the way across the top sometimes you need a little bit of help with uh, you know like a door panel remover uh, or something plastic so it doesn't mar up the uh, the plastic all right so when you get to this side over here there's gonna be a screw right up underneath here that you do need to remove there's one right here and then this whole thing will come right out Here's what it looks like after you pull it off. So each one has uh, just clips here. They're push pins and they just push right in. So you can actually pull straight back on it, but be careful because it is still old and these things can break. All right, so the next thing that you're gonna have to do is remove this uh, Phillips head screw. And then we're gonna start working on taking off this uh, upper um, bezel going around and the reason why we're doing that is because this piece here actually fits underneath uh, this other piece so this piece fits over the top of that piece right there so it kind of locks in place so go ahead and just grab the outside of this okay just slowly lift it up and it will just pop right off. So actually, this whole piece, you do have a couple electrical connections here. Like I said, I'm not gonna take the thing completely out, but I just need access to the lower part here. All right, so what I'm doing is I'm just uh, setting it up so it uh, locks in place here, just so it's up out of the way. And then what we're gonna do is there's a panel right up underneath there that should be uh, two bolts or two screws, I mean that uh, should be right up underneath this panel. So we need to get behind that again, just use uh, a small pry tool and then just pop straight down like that and pull it out. All right, to remove those two screws that are up under the dash, um, they're 5 16 So go ahead and remove those and then we'll proceed to remove the uh, upper section. So now what we're gonna do is uh, once you remove the two bolts, uh, you're gonna pull straight out. You wanna go outward on it because if you notice, let me flip the new one over. See, it has the tabs here, like this. They all have to pull straight out on it. Okay, and then what you're gonna do is just keep working around. So this whole thing is just about out. And if you need any assistance, you just have to get a And then just keep popping. Keep pulling out until it completely pops out and you've got all your electrical connections on the back side that we have to disconnect. All right, so we just uh, went ahead and disconnected these. They're just push in and pull. And then down here, you got your hazards. So what we're gonna do is just push in here. And then what you'll do is just lift up. So push in, lift up. And then the same on this green one, where you push in and you'll lift straight up. Just like that. All right, so you wanna make sure that you uh, save these, uh, these push pins here. They're on the old one, you just have to take them off. That's the only thing they don't come with. And then you just wanna snap them into place. So there should be, I believe, five. And you 
just gonna have to come down here and just keep on, whoops, just keep on working your way down and just keep locking them in place. Okay, just like that. All right, so next thing we're gonna do is we have to take um, your air conditioning and heating uh, control panel off and then put it on to the new one. You also have your uh, passenger airbag module and also your uh, hazard. You gotta take those off and move it over and your air duct intake um, right here that you have to transfer over also. All right, so what we're doing is we're taking out the Phillips head screws. So go ahead and remove the two here and there's two more on the other side. And then this whole entire unit will lift right directly out. All right, so I actually missed a step here. Uh, we do need to pop off the outer uh, control knobs here and here, then it will pop out. All right, so what you're doing is I took this one off here. This is, uh, you don't have to take this one off because all we're worried about right now is taking this off. But saying that, this thing, all you do is start prying it from each corner, you just keep working your way around and it will pull out and that's what it's gonna look like right there. Now that it's loose, you can go ahead and just push it in, and pop the whole thing right out. Go ahead and drop it into the new unit and you're gonna go ahead and start putting in the screws. Just use the old screws that you got. All right, as you're screwing these uh, screws in, make sure you don't over tighten them because you are uh, screwing into plastic. So just get them good and snug. All right, so while, you, uh, while you're installing these, make sure, because you have a black a notch right there, that's gonna be your where your control selector switch is gonna be. So you want to line it up you want to line it up so it's right here on the off and then slide it down don't lock it in quite yet and just make sure it runs through its full motion so it goes all the way to full and then all the way down to low and then click to off and then once you're satisfied with that push it down until it locks into place and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna do it on the same thing here where you're just gonna run it all the way up until uh, it goes up to the hot and then all the way down until it hits cold so make sure this is seated all the way down um, i'm just going to do it with two hands here so stand by all right so that is uh, locked into place now it works perfect just like that so that's the first part of it all right so let's go ahead and remove the uh, hazard switch so go ahead and unscrew those and then put it on the new one. All right, when you're installing this, make sure that the, uh, the bevel is going the right direction. See if you notice the front of it, how the uh, bevel is uh, facing downward. So go ahead and pop that into place and then go ahead and screw it down. All right, well, I noticed one thing that this thing doesn't have and that is the airbag, passenger airbag light and this, this one has it, which is right here. All right, so uh, we're going ahead and installing this part of it. And if it's, uh, if it's broken, if you have a piece that's broken off on this, uh, you can order these. And actually, this is a good time to change it out. So if you have some fins that are broken or, you know, this part here doesn't open and close. Anyways, go ahead and let's install that. Put your screws down in here, and we'll go ahead and uh, tighten those up. All right, so remove the old clips from the uh, from the other uh, old unit, and go ahead and slide those in place. And then what you're going to do is just push and lock down on those. And those are keepers, just like the white ones are up here. Okay. A couple things too to point out, um, the quality of this is a little bit, uh, it's not as thick as what the OEM stuff is, which normally you get on aftermarket. 
But uh, be careful with these when you're screwing into uh, this plastic. They kind of twist, so go really slow on that. And other than that, I mean, I'm pretty pleased with it. All right, so what I did was uh, I actually just hooked up the uh, passenger airbag light and I'm just gonna tie it off somewhere. I hate doing that, but what else can you do? What we're gonna do is hook up your USB. So you're gonna have two of them coming out. Uh, here's, there's one, it's a, a four prong. The other one is a six prong, and then it's going into the USB. So let's go ahead and connect the other one. And you just take it, slide it in. and lock it in place just like that. All right, so uh, it comes with a mic. We're actually not going to install that, so I'm just gonna huck that away. Um, the uh, GPS is gonna plug into right here. So your GPS screws down into here. Here's your antenna. And then um, right next door is your uh, camera. This is for your backup camera input right here. Uh, these are both for uh, your you get two USB connectors right here. And then uh, this is your RCA uh, <clears throat> input output. And then this one, I have, we're not even gonna use. And then um, this will be your uh, power cable coming in here. So we're gonna get going on this. So we made the connection up here first, and now we're gonna go ahead and start making the connections uh, on the back of your stereo. All right, so we're gonna just uh, delete the uh, GPS because, or sorry, the GPS right down here because the Apple CarPlay has it already on your phone, so you do not need that connection. If you were not using it through your phone, then you will need to install this connection. All right, so if you're going to, if you're gonna use the backup camera, uh, you do need to splice into, this is the, your uh, power unit right here. And so what you're gonna do is you're taking the one that says uh, reverse camera on it, and then it's gonna go into this, um, this actual wire. So what we need to do is we're gonna splice these two together. I stripped off the wire here, and then I'm using a, uh, this is solder in the middle of this connector. Uh, this is heat shrink. So what we're gonna do is Go ahead and slide that part in, run it all the way down. And then what we're gonna do is take this part, tie these two together. And this is one of the best ways to make a connection. So what you're doing is you're just twisting them together. Just like that. Okay. So it looks like that. And then what we're gonna do is slide this back over the top. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm using this uh, power probe uh, uh, torch. However, you can just use a standard lighter or even, uh, you know, like a paint stripper or something. And then what you do is just run it back and forth. It doesn't need too much heat. You know, hit the middle a little bit. I'm gonna turn this down just a little bit. And then you get that solder to flow. Just like that. All right, so now that we have this connected, um, I just ran a little piece of uh, black tape over it just to dress it up a little bit. And uh, this is part to the backup camera. Now, if you're not interested in installing the backup camera, you do not need to do this because you do need to run this all the way to the back of the uh, vehicle into the trunk. All right, so on your main wiring harness right here, you're gonna have the antenna, which is going to be connected right here. So go ahead and push that down in and you'll feel it locked down in. So you kind of have to push and then it will lock in. So that is your antenna. And then the other part of it will hook up to, uh, there's a spot right up here one of these connectors is gonna plug into there. Okay, this is your uh, main power supply. So the black end is gonna hook down into the back here, okay? So go ahead and push that down until it locks in place. 
Okay, so let's uh, connect. This is uh, so the, the brown tan color. Uh, we're going to connect that into your, that's for your AC and your heat. All right, so next that we're going to do is uh, go ahead and connect your hazard, hazard lights. So make sure that clicks down. All these should click in place. So make sure that there's a positive lock on them that they're not going to pull out because you do not want to... Uh, put this back in place, lock it in place, and get everything situated, turn the key, and find out that nothing comes on. All right, so uh, now let's make the uh, large connections. And this, again, is your power supply coming up here. And then you want to uh, push it down in place and hear it click. Make sure it's a positive lock. You're gonna move on to the next one. Okay, and then this guy plugs into here. So you're gonna take it and lock it into place, okay? And there's that. Okay, so here's your last connection. And what you're gonna do is, these have the, uh, there's a little tab on the inside where the little tab is. You're gonna take that, lock it in place, and make sure it clicks. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're just setting it in place right now just to make sure that all the connections are there. The only thing that's not going to work is the backup camera because we do not have that installed quite yet. But we're gonna go ahead and power this thing up and make sure it works. All right, so let's uh, see if this thing powers up. Awesome. Look at that. Once we're done uh, doing the final install, then we'll go through the... Uh, set up and the use of it but man that looks good i like that all right so the other thing too is you want to go in and make sure that uh, your hazards everything works you want to make sure that you can turn it off turn it on you know just go through the motions here and just make sure that everything is working um but now we need to, now that we popped everything down into place, so make sure it's all locked in. All right, so now the last thing that we gotta do is just put this uh, last cover on. So let's go ahead and snap this into place. Uh, just make sure that everything is, is locked down and then go ahead and install this. All right, so go ahead and uh, put pressure all the way around. Make sure you push everything in and make sure it's all locked in place. You should have a nice even line here and you know, just pop everything in and looks good. So that part of it's done. Now, don't forget the screw that goes right up here. So get that installed. All right, so let's uh, go ahead and install this last piece here and uh, get it lined up and pop it into place. So the two screws that one up under here uh, attached to the old stereo and let me show you where that's at it was right there and you do not need to install those All right, so uh, let's go ahead and take off the uh, film and actually for 150 bucks that is a really good deal all right here is uh, screen mirroring mode You can play videos, uh, movies, and then if you want to play, uh, we'll run through a couple other things here. Super easy to hook up. All right, here we're syncing it up with our phone. All right, here we go. So now uh, you got everything that you want to do here. I mean, this is, I really like this. You know, so, um, it's all your music, Spotify, like you can play videos on here. Um, you know, if you have a movie, you can play a movie. Um, let's see what else we got backup camera, GPS. When we hooked up the uh, passenger airbag, 
Um, we just had to hide it behind the uh, control panel. But if you notice, there's no airbag lights whatsoever. You do need to have that connected. If you do not have it connected, you will get an airbag light on your dash. All right, so here is the final product. All done, it's completed. Hope you liked the video. I do highly recommend this, and uh, for the price, it's very inexpensive. So uh, please subscribe, like, and I'll see you on the next one. I've got a ton of Honda Civic videos that I'll be putting up.